Yo, all right, it's the right brother. So I'm coming at you with another one. When you go to pick your truck out, I'm gonna clean the lens off a little bit. When you go to pick your truck out, what what's the qualifications that you use? Do you use emotion? Because it looks good, because it's pretty, because it's a Peterbilt, because it's a Freightliner, International, Volvizi. What is it you, you use to pick out your truck? Like for me, when I went to go pick out my truck, I saw that, that yellow KW, W9. I've never thought about getting to it, to it, but when I got inside of it, I was like, oh shit, this is the one I want. I want that truck. But in reality, that truck is not aerodynamic, burns probably more fuel than than some of these other trucks. So do you be, do you go smart and pick out a truck that is, let me make sure I got that crumb off my beard. I know y'all gonna talk about it. Do you go smart and pick out something that's light and aerodynamic? Do you go pick out something that you're gonna be able to uh, be really comfortable and live in? Or do you go pick out something that's, um, that's pretty? Like that International that I had, it was just pretty. You know, it was an I truck. Don't get me wrong. It was an I, especially if I would have got the governor taken off. I'm pretty sure I could have put that, uh, put that hammer down and, and, and did some damage if I would stay with the company. But um, do you pick out a truck just for needed necessity? Like, hey, this is what they got. This is all they got. Fuck it, I'll take that. The reason why I ask that is because a, company, a couple companies have multiple companies that they deal with. Like, I could have got just a regular 2014 Freightliner. I would have been paying $900. It was a maintenance lease. Uh, but it was ugly. <laughs> it had no skirts on it. You know what I'm saying? You can see all up under that thing. You know what I'm saying? You can see the balls on both sides that you stick the little holes in and all that shit. But um, when I went to go pick out a truck, I was like, do I need something practical, pretty, or do I need something that I like? So when you go out to pick out your truck, and I'm probably still talking to mostly quality people or, or people who went, because if you go buy a truck, that's different. But if you're going out there and you have to choose your truck, what truck would you choose? Would you choose a W9? Would you choose a Peterbilt because it's the Peterbilt? Like, I like that W9, man. That hood, I'm 6'4", and that hood was tall to me when I stood in front of it. You know what I'm saying? But what 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 is the frame of mind behind what, what you do when you go pick out your truck? Okay, I want something that has a big sleeper. I want a, I want a Kentworth 680. I want a, seven, I want a studio sleeper. You know, or I want this, I want that, I want this type of engine. I want, I want that type of chassis. I want the 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 rear ratio to be like this. What is it that you, when you go to pick out a truck, from like Quality or some of these other companies, what is it that you look for when you go pick it out? It's the right brother. I holler at you. Peace.